So Matt sent through an email asking for some help about an outbuilding that he's building, which has got a metal roof. He's got problems with it sweating. Here's a picture that he sent me. He sent me quite a few pictures through, which is really good. Um, and this is the construction that he's got going at the moment. This is uh, obviously what's going on and where he is in the conditions. And internally, we can see that he's got some sweating down there. So he's asked me to answer a few different questions um, and mainly how to get rid of the, the sweating on the inside. Well, if we look at the photographs here, first of all, he's, th this noggin is too high and he's not allowing for any kind of ventilation front and back. And he's already told me that he's, he hasn't allowed um, for any at the back but he has at the front let's just look through the rest of the pictures he's already put some insulation in he's he's put this up and he's using the the foil of the insulation as a vapor barrier which is not really the done thing but it you know it, it's an outhouse so um and he's done a very good job so let's just assume that's that's great and he's uh pretty much um the finished thing so basically he's shown us that he's got the venting at the front just there so let's go back and have a look at what's actually going on well first of all no wonder he's got sweating going on inside because he's a building site he's got what we call construction moisture on the inside it's very very important to understand that at this stage of the job you're always going to have construction moisture around all the timbers that he's putting in are going to be high um, moisture content uh, and inside you've got screeding brickwork and all sorts going on but just look at the external environment as well he's got massive amount of external moisture all the way around and of course none of that is helping to the internal problem now another thing that doesn't help is that it is a metal roof because the metal transfers the cold down much more than other products such as if you had like a rubber over the top of 18 mil ply or osb or you had a three layer felt builder there they're all much better that stopping the bottom part of the structure getting cold. This is why we don't particularly like, or I particularly don't like, and I see so many problems with glass fiber, because glass fiber being a very sort of non-tactile product, very, very, very solid, transfers the heat down, and the bottom of the OSB that it's laid on is normally colder. And these, these little refined things make an awful lot of difference. If you've got a very cold internal surface at the bottom of that metal, or on the bottom of a, a, an OSB sheet, and you've got high moisture outside the building, and you've sealed in an awful lot of construction moisture, no wonder you're gonna get this kind of scenario on the inside. And then together with, if we go back to this, non-ventilation, you know, you, you just haven't got the gap up above for the ventilation. And then we go back over to this, I think what he's done with this, and this is a pretty good vapor barrier. Although it's not classed as being the correct vapor barrier, it's pretty good. So the thing being here is that, should he, where should he go with this? Should he rip all this out? Well, looking at it, he already has. He's asked me a, a few other questions here, and I'll go on to those other photographs for you. He wants to put this up, over the top of this to keep the bottom of the metal warmer and he's asked me whether that would work well i don't know it's way outside whether i could say whether it'd work or not but if you look at the physics of what's going on um what you need to be doing is warming the bottom of the uh, metal or any of the deck the, the warmer the bottom of the deck is the less chance that you've got that you're going to get a dew point on it by putting this over the top of it what you're doing is stopping any heat from rising from the roof down below to keep the bottom warm so theoretically underneath this would be colder than the the this area here because it's not getting warmed from the rising heat so theoretically he should get more sweating underneath this however he's also blocking the moisture out so in which case even if it was colder would it sweat to, that, that, that's just right outside where, where I could really comment on um, up there whether it's a good idea or not what is a good idea or would be a good idea is to keep the bottom of the deck warmer to put insulation on the top but then that's going to cost him a whole load more money to do so so let's just go back and have a look at this all the way around look after the external environment even the BS standards talk about making sure that the overhangs of the roof and all around the outside is clear of foliage and the, 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 you've got a good movement of air around the outside because all this air around the outside would be holding moisture which is going to go up and go through your venting backward and forward so look after that external environment and when you're actually building this let's get back in um, at this particular stage try and keep your construction moisture down to a minimum and 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 get rid of it as best you can
very difficult to do in the winter but obviously um you know there are ways of doing it by increasing ventilation and heating and things like that and keeping the rain out as as much as you can hopefully that helps speak soon